another story from Italy now. It's a violin that was made by the Italian Antonio Stradivari in the 18th century. Then it went missing for 35 years through a remarkable set of circumstances. But now it's back thrilling audiences. Here's its story. The Aim Stradivarius was the prized possession of the late virtuoso Roman Totenberg. He had played the remarkable violin for almost 40 years. But in 1980, one night after a concert, it was stolen from his dressing room. He was greeting well-wishers afterwards. And when he turned around to go back and get the violin, it was gone. And they found the case thrown down the stairs in the place where the concert had been. And they called the police and the FBI came. But it was, it was never found. And he being a person who understood the importance of moving on with your life so that you can survive, did. The violin was stolen by Totenberg's former student, Philip Johnson, but the authorities didn't have enough evidence for a search warrant. Four years after Johnson died, his widow discovered it in his belongings. Never in my dreams. I thought, yes, someday it might appear again, but most likely we will never see it. Um, I was really so happy when Nina called me when I was in Moscow. Uh, she called me on the phone and said violin was found. I just thought she was joking, but everything became the truth. Mira Wang is Totenberg's former student. She's also a renowned virtuoso and was chosen to give the first concert performance with the instrument since it was recovered two years ago. It means a great deal to me that I can use the violin to be the first one who would bring it to the public. And um, there are many different relationships and friendships involved. And of course, I often think about Roman and think about his look at me from above. And so there's a complication in the emotions. There's a pressure, there's joy, there's a lot of sorrow for that he could never see this or hear this. And um, I wish he was with us. Totenberg's daughters say choosing Wang to give the first concert was easy. Well, we call Mira fourth sister. She was my father's protege. He certainly had many beloved students but she was the, so close and uh, to all of us, to him, and uh, this is just the most wonderful extension of his playing, that she uh, was, uh, would be here and could do it, and uh, would do it with Jan Vogler, too, her husband, who was also very beloved to us. They are a dyna dynamic mu musicians. About 550 instruments made by Antonio Stradivari have survived and include violins, violas, and cellos. Roman Totenberg's Aim Stradivarius was valued at $250,000 when it was stolen. But these days, the finest Stradivarius violins often sell for millions of dollars. But many would say the music they produce is priceless.